Hi there, Sanjay Gangal from GIS Cafe. Uh, I'm here with Dr. Stephen Bolvan, president of Aplanex. Hello, Steve. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, uh, how's the show been going for you? It's been a good show so far. Uh, the first day was busier than it usually is, and the second day has just been just been crazy. So it uh, definitely is a very good show. I think uh, the traffic has been higher than last year, so everybody I've spoken to has been, been pretty happy with what they've seen. Uh, that's great. Uh, and uh, what are you showing here at your booth? We have uh, four new things that we're showing at the booth. One is uh, our brand new uh, POSPAC uh, MMS 5.4 uh, has just been released, and, and it focuses on initially aided uh, uh, precise point positioning. Uh, we also have our brand new version of our LAN product, POS LV. Uh, it's now a version five hardware, mm -hmm. and uh, it's now uh, it's smaller, it, it's lighter, uh, more compact, and it's now in a, in a uh, environmentally sealed uh, package. Uh, next is our uh, brand new, just announced this morning, our uh, DSS wide angle, which is a 60 megapixel uh, medium format camera, uh, very compact uh, in a brand new body, and it's intended for uh, very efficient uh, wide, wide uh, swath uh, mapping applications, again, in the medium format. And, and finally, brand new, uh, which we uh, announced just earlier in this year, but it's the first time in the European uh, market, is our brand new uh, indoor uh, mobile mapping system, which is uh, used to collect uh, both uh, imagery as well as LIDAR information uh, inside uh, buildings like this. Uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit more about each of these announcements uh, uh, as to what is unique about uh, these new offerings? Sure, I'll, I'll focus on a couple of them. So the uh, indoor mapping one, which is, is brand new for us, we actually uh, now managed to take a lot of the technology that we've had outdoors for many years, we've now managed to take it uh, indoors. Um, what it does is it uh, collects data indoors in both uh, uh, three-dimensional uh, spherical imagery as well as full uh, LiDAR point clouds and combines the data with uh, inertial and um, other location technologies to be able to uh, position uh, all the imagery and all the LiDAR within the building. So you can basically reconstruct the entire building, um, both from a two-dimensional floor plan uh, type uh, view, or from a three-dimensional model view, or sort of other, other products which can uh, come out of it as well. So it's really focused on very efficient mapping indoors. Uh, it's not intended to replace the static scanner, which uh, is, is a very accurate uh, scanning technology. This is a slightly less accurate technology, uh, but scans a very large area in a very small period of time. Uh, do you need to uh, move the uh, camera from location to location to get the complete 3D view? Yes, you do. So this is uh, actually on a, on a cart type system, and uh, all the inertial technology is on the cart, the, the camera and the lighters on the cart as well. And so it actually gets pushed around at a, at a fairly reasonable pace, um, and it moves around the floor collecting all the data. Uh, it can be used to multiply stack uh, uh, floors as well, so you can go up and down elevators, and it'll, it'll then stack up the, uh, the entire building as you, as you build it up. So it's a uh, brand new forest. We just launched it in, in January, and we're really focusing on the uh, on kind of the capability of the system. The uh, the other part of this we did is the uh, the whole front end. So the data itself is is part of what's offered, but then we have the entire processing workflow to be able to uh, show this data to uh, to the customers. They can actually work within this environment to process the data, uh, view the data, and it can be viewed from multiple customers uh, at the same time. So it's a, it's a very efficient way of collecting and then processing and displaying uh, all the indoor data. Uh, and what is the profile of customers who it is targeted towards? Well, we've got, uh, I guess, four areas where uh, we've kind of profiled, but there's really two we're after. One is the public security. Uh, so places like uh, airports, um, uh, transit authorities, universities, uh, government buildings. So it's all about um, public security, making sure that, uh, that you know, people in public buildings are safe, in airports are safe. Um, the other area is that of uh, the building and construction, uh, building and construction market. Um, it's now about um, looking at a, a building that's partially done or has the, uh, has the skeleton done, um, going in and uh, completing all of the, uh, the data for that building, uh, providing it then to somebody who can then do the, uh, the floor plan layout of the building when it comes to uh, laying out you know, offices or, or stores or whatever it happened to be. Uh, so so it's, those are really the two markets we're, we're primarily focused on at the moment. And, and you also mentioned that you wanted to uh, talk about one other product? Uh, another product which uh, we announced this morning is the, uh, the DSS wide angle, so 60 megapixel um, wide angle uh, format camera. It, it takes uh, multiple lenses, but it's really focused on, on a wider, uh, wider swath width. Uh, it's a uh, uh, colored camera only, it doesn't do uh, infrared, so it, it doesn't replace the 439 that we have today, so both, uh, both uh, cameras uh, coexist, and depending on uh, what the application is, then customers will uh, uh, move from one to the other. It's a, it's a smaller package, a more compact package, um, but it's targeted more at a, at a specific uh, application. 
And how much does it cost? Uh, it's uh, it's around the 400,000 uh, mark, uh, with with all the software loaded in. So you can you can get it cheaper than that, depending on uh, kind of what what um, uh, options you choose with it. Uh, what is the profile of customers that uh, are this targeted towards? Uh, this is targeted towards uh, mostly customers in the uh, rapid response uh, market. So customers that are going out, they have to turn around data very quickly. Uh, so they have to get up in the air, they have to get the data uh, captured, get a process and get it down to the ground. Uh, so we did uh, work, uh, not with this camera, but we did work uh, for um, the oil spill uh, that happened, the earthquake in, in Haiti. So not us directly, but our, our customers did that using this, this kind of technology. So very much focused in, as I said, the, the rapid response market. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, I think that's pretty much it from the, the products. Um, I think it's, it's uh, great for us to be back here in the European market. Uh, Europe's always been a, a major uh, area for us, major success area for us. So we're very happy to be back and happy to see the, uh, uh, the uh, show traffic um, quite, quite as good as it's been. It's uh, very good to see after, after last year. Uh, that's true, I think uh, uh, there are more than 15,000 attendees. Uh, there certainly have been a lot. The show has just been constantly, the, the guys in the booth have been run off their feet. So, so I think they're very happy about that. Yeah, and how can people find out more about Applanix and some of these new products? Uh, so if they see this before the end of the show, uh, we're down on the uh, on the first floor. Uh, otherwise, best to go to the website, www.applanix.com. Uh, all the uh, information is there on the products, all the contact information to be able to see uh, uh, more profile, more information on the products, as well as uh, who to talk to to get more information. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen. Have a great show. You're very welcome. Thank you.